Hi, my name is Chris here from BMC at the NAM 2018. Uh, we're here this year focusing on our all new Resort 6, released just last year at AES New York. Uh, the Resort 6 is our answer to a more accessible PMC product. Um, it's a new powered near field with a six and a half inch driver, two way design, and of course featuring our uh, unique advanced transmission line technology. Um, so although it's a more accessible, affordable PMC, on the contrary, we've actually invested a lot of time and a lot of money into developing pioneering groundbreaking new technology. Uh, to offer the same PMC quality that people are used to, but um, keeping it to a certain price point. Uh, such as the D fins or diffraction fins here on the, on the tweeter, which help increase the dispersion and the high end response of the, of the, of the Result 6. Uh, we've also implemented some cutting edge laser measurements as well for the base driver technology. Um, and again, coupled with the transmission line cabinet design, um, that gives uh, users everything they expect from the PMC, for the PMC sound. Low distortion, very low bass response, natural bass response, bigger, a bigger bass than you'd expect from a speaker this size. Uh, low distortion, the uh, transmission line is handling a lot of the bass, so the bass driver is less excursion, so that means uh, more dynamic range, more headroom in the speaker. The speaker itself is powered by uh, 165 watts, fully active, uh, fully analog PMC design crossover. So the Result 6 controls are very, very simple indeed. Uh, balanced analog inputs, volume control, and an on and off switch. Why is the uh, Result 6 cabinet so deep? Uh, the reason for the dimensions of the Result 6 and other PMC speakers is down to the unique transmission line inside the cabinet. So uh, the transmission line itself, if we were to cut the unit down a cross section, you would see a long line or labyrinth folded throughout the cabinet, starting here, where the drivers sit, your HF and your LF, or maybe an MF if it's a three-way. The line folds all the way through, ending here at the vent. And what's happening down that line is um, energy, rear radiation from the drivers as you're getting sound is traveling down the line. The line itself is got absorptive foam uh, uh, calculated and engineered in certain different positions, different quantity, different density. That's absorbing all the rear radiation from the speakers. So the only frequencies that are coming out of the vent are the really low content, the really low, everything roughly below 100 hertz. So it's, that, it's like a built-in subwoofer almost. Uh, it's, it's certainly acting like another driver which means one of the challenges there and one of the difficulties of producing transmission line is getting the uh, sound and energy out of the, the vent in time and in phase with the other drivers to make it more effective. Otherwise, we don't, we can get phase problems and smearing in the mid-range and all sorts of nasty problems.